City fans, welcome into the latest edition of 10 and 10, the show where we take you through the 10 things you need to know ahead of each and every Orlando City Major League Soccer matchup this season. Coming in at number one is another unfortunate result for the Lions after they drop a 1-0 decision against FC Cincinnati at Interim Coast Stadium. It was a battle that ultimately ended 10 v 10. Orlando City with so many opportunities to score, yet they never hit the back of the net. Let's see how it all went down. Cincinnati, despite notable bumps in the road, largely marching on and marching into the box for a very early chance in which they take the lead through Acosta with inside 20 seconds on the clock. He got another mistake and Kubo's away. He can score a second here. He Swagos challenges come in right on the edge of the box. What is the referee going to do here? Final decision, red card, foul, restart for Cincinnati. So it is a red card, Schlegel is off. Have to deal with a new face kind of team, just like this team, Orlando, who are in with Angulo, he's around the keeper. Oh, it's a brilliant bit of defensive clearing on the line from Murphy. Angulo for Araujo to hit it, deflected, oh, just wide. To the full-time whistle here against Minnesota, Ladero, the deep ball, and it bounces down for Conor Hayner. Oh, what a strike, but the flag is up, and for now it's going to thwart Orlando. Twisting and turning, and ultimately giving away the foul and kicking the ball away as well. Don't forget, he's on a yellow card. Oh, he's got a second. It's 10 against 10. It's a game-changing moment with 13 minutes of regulation time to play. Coming in at number two is words from the boss himself, Oscar Pareja, who said, despite Orlando City's fight at the end, it was the lack of concentration at the beginning that cost them. Another frustrating night because the result, obviously, at this point where uh, we are with the urgency to add points, uh, is uh, the feeling that we all had in the locker room. But uh, I think the effort and uh, the character of the players is uh, uh, demonstrate that uh, we still are brave and uh, are we trying to bounce back. Those two uh, dark moments in the first uh, minute uh, in uh, the other one with the red card just kept us out from the result. And that's what just makes us very, very uh, sad and frustrated. Other than that, I told the players what I saw on the pitch. It was a team with uh, heart, with character, and uh, our fans today in the stadium as well deserve it. Uh, I, I, but we're, we're very proud of them as, as well because they don't, didn't stop to push in the team. So we see we gotta keep going, navigating this uh, difficult time, like uh, uh, has not happened to us, uh, for me here in Orlando, but our heart is intact and we need to push. Coming in at number three, the reaction continues, this time with goalkeeper Pedro Galese, who says that Orlando City may be in a bad run of form, but the attitude, the fight, it's there. La realidad, más allá del, del partido, eh, es que estamos en una mala racha. Eh, es cierto que todavía falta mucho, mucho campeonato, muchos juegos por, por disputar, pero... Eh, el corazón que se puso hoy en el juego estando con, con un hombre menos eh, es muy se, se valora mucho se valora mucho del, del equipo pero pero bueno el fútbol es el fútbol es como la vida no hay momentos que la estás pasando mal en la vida y, y, y tienes que afrontar y seguir para adelante el fútbol es igual eh, en este momento lo, lo estamos pasando mal pero creo que hay equipo con que revertir esto and coming in at number four is Mikey Halliday, who came on into the match and says that Orlando City are after one thing and one thing only. That is a win. Uh, nothing much more than just want to win. Uh, obviously, I'm not happy right now. I don't think anyone is, but I tried. We tried, but it's got to be better. We got to win. It's really tough, but we're all aware of it, and we all know we need to do better. And it's not much more than not much more we can do than just to go and just keep going. And I mean. It's happened before in the past, we've turned it around, but there's no excuses, there's nothing, we just gotta, just gotta turn it around. I think that what we can take out of this game is our mentality was good, just to keep going with 10 men versus 11 most of the game, and just the fact that we just kept pushing, and that's it, yeah, nothing more.
Coming in at number five is a very busy month for Orlando City as they turn the page from the last two losses and look ahead. They will play five matches throughout the remainder of May. Three of those five being away matches. The first stop is an away trip to Philly and then a quick turnaround hosting Inter Miami at Inter and Co Stadium next Wednesday before getting back on the road flying cross country to take on San Jose. Before we look at the rest of May, let's look straight ahead and that takes Orlando City to Philadelphia to take on a union side who are currently winless across their last four matches. Moreover, they've lost back to back matches at home, something they hadn't done since 2021. But Orlando City, they know a thing or two about winning in Chester. Coming in at number seven is Orlando City's win at Subaru Park last season, becoming the only Major League Soccer team to win an MLS match on Philadelphia's home soil. Let's relive it. We're underway. Orlando City, Philadelphia. game that you have to live that you have to believe on it and you have to push and you have to solve the things and you have to make it happen. one out for Philadelphia as they took a trip to D.C. and played out a 2-2 draw against D.C. United. Let's relive that one as well. Drill out of the air. Down for Stroud, who's low cross. Comes with for Dahmer. That is a lovely move. Benteke's flick on is into Stroud and Merle. Edge of the area. Here's Merle! They're doing very good work. It's Wagner spotting Bedoya, making the run. Bedoya! Catching DC United out from a set piece. Approaches and has a hit. Jack McGlynn! That is an absolute banger to draw this game level. And coming in at number nine, speaking of 2-2 draws, let's relive the last time that these two teams met. Orlando City hosted Philadelphia Union right here at Inter & Co Stadium in 2023. Back in June, they played out an unfortunate result where Orlando City were actually in the lead, two goals up, and conceded two late on. Let's see how it played out. Terrific touch, McGuire able to recover his shot goal, Dick and McGuire! Opens the scoring for Orlando. And Martino Ojeda off the left foot. Fires go. It got past Bendick. A quick release. McGlynn once again. Service off the left foot. Wants away and it gets in. It got past Steinahar. Plays this ball in. Headed away by Carlos. And a crack from long range. What a shot. It's Jose Martinez with his first MLS goal. And last but not least is number 10. Let's take you through some milestones to keep an eye out for as Orlando City take on Philadelphia. Duncan McGuire's next appearance will be his 50th across all competitions for Orlando City, and his next goal will be his 21st. It'll officially tie him with Tesho Akindele for seventh on the club's all-time scoring charts. Facundo Torres' next goal will be his 32nd goal and will put him second all-time in club history, officially passing Nani. 
And that's all we have time for on this edition of 10 and 10. But tune in next week. It is a doubleheader week for Orlando City. We'll be previewing the Clasico taking on Inter Miami at Inter and Coast Stadium midweek before a cross-country trip to San Jose. You won't want to miss it.